Well, I think uh, one of the uh, roles of arts in today's society uh, might be uh, democratization of society. Most arts in traditional uh, societies have been used by relatively limited number of people to dominate many others. Famous Japanese traditional uh, arts such as no theater play or sado tea ceremony or ikebana flower arrangements or bonsai gardening. Uh, and also we have a tanka and haiku poetry tradition. They are no exceptions. And arts in today's society need to reveal unnecessary power differences among people. Some are remaining and some are being newly generated uh, and or expanded. And to urge those people to solve these uh, differences together. More specifically, uh, arts can liberate and emancipate people who are being marginalized in many senses. In Japanese case, women, foreigners, and those in liquidated employment. Arts can also facilitate non-verbal and cross-cultural communication to respect and pres preserve diverse cultures and traditions, which are now being endangered by tsunami of global capitalism. Another important role uh, of arts in contemporary society could be exploration for meaningful human lives by suggesting diverse and different modes of critical learning. Today's society is too complex and too uncertain for people to outsource thinking completely to someone else. Arts need to help people to think and explore by themselves what are meaningful lives for them. It's a real challenge for people in developing countries, including Japan, which has only 70 years efforts for democracy. In this respect, arts can enrich meaningful lives in the ever-strengthening system world of instrumental rationality and alienation, to use the German social philosopher Jürgen Habermas' world. Japan has been, unfortunately, number one in the suicide rate among developed economies for many years. While the rate includes karo jisatsu in Japanese, that means suicide, due to overwork. Uh, karoshi, uh, death from suicide, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry, death from sickness due to overwork is not counted. So we have been more concerned about increasing mental burnouts among working age people and skyrocketing uh, dementia among the elderly people. 